Hello, I'm Holly and today we're going to be seeing whether I'm achieving my 2020 reading goals. So at the beginning of 2020 I created some reading goals, some booktube goals and I thought now that we're almost at the end of August, there's about four months left of the year, I thought why not look at my goals, see how well I'm doing and what books I need to read by the end of the year to achieve those goals. Now I know that some of these goals I have failed absolutely miserably on and I'm just gonna give up on them but there's quite a few that I think if I really tried in the last bit of the year to achieve them I could. So this is me trying to hold myself accountable and I thought it might be fun for you to see how well I'm doing my goals. So yeah, let's just get into it. My first goal is obviously my Goodreads goal. How many books do I want to read in a year? And every year I set it at 52. That's quite achievable for me. It's not really kind of a challenge. It's just really so I can track the books I read each year. And already this year I've read 73 books. So I've achieved my goal. According to Goodreads, I've achieved it by 140% and I'm 41 books ahead of schedule. So I think my stretch goal is probably probably a hundred books and I think I'm still on track for that so that's about 27 books left. I've still got the end of August, I've got like two weeks left and then all of September, November, no September, October, November, December. So I think I can get to a hundred. And then my second major reading goal is that 50% of the books that I read, I want them to be from my own TBR. So all the books that I had before 2020. I have a lot of books on my own TBR. I'm pretty sure it's about 200 books and I wanted to cut that down. So like I said, I've read 73 books this year. 41 of those books are books that I owned, which means that 56% of my reading this year is from books that I already owned. However, eight of those books were rereads and that's not really my own TBR is it? I've read those books. So in actuality I've read 33 books from my own TBRs if you don't include rereads and that is 45% so I'm almost 50% Hopefully if I achieve these other goals that will be 50% or more. So I think that I'm on track for that goal but I'm on that line. Can I get to 50% by the end of the year? And then my third bookish goal was to get more involved on booktube. So this was to start a booktube channel and to comment on more videos, to interact with more booktubers. And obviously I've started a booktube channel. I don't know how many videos I've done, almost a hundred I think at this point, which I'm very proud of. And I have been trying to comment on a lot of people's videos. I feel like that has trailed off in the last couple of months. I think I've just been a bit stressed. I do need to get better at commenting on people's videos. I absolutely love when people comment on my videos and actually that just reminded me that I just hit 400 subscribers which is small compared to you know the big channels but for me that just feels so great. So everyone new to this channel, thank you for being here. Honestly, it makes me feel so happy that people are watching my videos because a lot of the time, I don't know if anyone else feels this, but I make the videos and I'm like, they're so rubbish, no one's gonna watch them. But actually people do watch them. They like them and they comment. And honestly, even if your comment is just like a heart emoji or something, that still makes my day. So I'd love if you could give me, give me like a random emoji that you've been loving recently as a comment in today's video, just to say that you're here. Thank you to everyone who's new to my channel or who's been here from the beginning. It really does mean the world to me. So booktube, I think that I'm, I think I've succeeded on that goal. Unless I just like fall off the face of the earth for the rest of the year, which I don't think is gonna happen. I think I've achieved that one. But then that leads into the goal that I haven't achieved, that I have failed miserably on. And that was reading the Goodreads Choice Awards in the fantasy categories and the young adult fantasy in sci-fi category. So, I was intending to do the top 10 in each of those and when I say the top 10 a lot of them were say like the third book in a series so in my head as long as I just read the first book in that series it was a success. 
But, so there's 20, isn't there? 20 in the top 10 of each of those lists. And I've read seven, and a few of that seven are ones that I read last year. So I've read less than seven off that list. And I think the main issue that I had with doing that goal is that the libraries were closed because of the pandemic. And I cannot afford all the books in the world. And I just, I didn't wanna buy these books that I didn't even know if I would like. So I was intending to use my library a lot and I couldn't do that from March. I hadn't got access to my library and I still don't really feel comfortable using my library right now. I know they're open and I'm sure that they have loads of procedures in place, but just I'm not taking I'm not taking my chances. So that's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen and I'm giving up on that goal. I think it's still a nice way to kind of see the books that are coming out each year. I think I am going to still keep a track of them each year, but maybe not set it as a goal because it's just it's just not gonna happen. Then my next goal was to finish five series and I actually think I've done quite well on this so far. So technically this year I have finished five series. I finished The Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I then finished The Six of Crows Duology by Lee Bardugo and I also recently finished The Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. And then I reread The Entire Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and I also reread the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory duology by Roald Dahl. So technically I have finished five series but two of them were rereads and I don't want to count that because that's not, it's not reading the series is it? It's not a completing series. So I would quite like to finish at least two more series this year and the two that are my major priorities right now are to finish the A Court of Thorns and Roses series or the first like trilogy within that major world. So I want to read A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is quite big but hopefully I can do it. And then I would also like to finish the Monsters of Verity series. So I would like to read Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab. I think it's different whatever country you're in. So yeah, if I can do that, then I will have done five series. My next reading goal is to read, I think it was 10 books off this poster that I have, which is 100 books that you should read in your lifetime. It's kind of like a scratch off poster. So, so far this year, I have read four off that list. I read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep or Blade Runner by Philip K. Dick. I read Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, The Odyssey by Homer translated by Emily Wilson, and The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassini. So there was, I think it's six, I think I got six left that I really want to get to this year, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. You'll, you'll see which one I don't think is gonna happen. I would really like to read The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass to complete the Dark Materials series by Philip Pullman. I really enjoyed the first one. I would love to continue this series and complete it. And if say I don't get to finish those other series, that would be like another completed series. So hopefully I can do this. I think it's a good thing to read in like the winter months. So maybe like November, December time, I can get this. And then I also really wanted to complete the Lord of the Rings trilogy this year so I need to read The Two Towers and The Return of the King. I don't know if I'm gonna do this because I didn't love the first book but if I could put them on TBRs and try maybe I could get this done this year. We'll see. We've got to be hopeful. And then another book that I wanted to read was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And then the book that is probably not gonna happen, I'm not gonna lie, is Les Mis by Victor Hugo or Les Miserables. Do you see how thick this book is? I have just read the, what's it called? Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb and that's over 800 pages. This is even longer. The writing is even smaller and it's a classic. I just don't know if this is gonna happen. It stares at me every year. It asks me to read it every year and every year I'm like, I'm gonna do it. And then I don't. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It might happen, it might happen. We'll see. Another of my goals this year was to haul a maximum of 60 books. So this is like buying, I can borrow more books than that. But last year in 2019, I think I bought 120 books, which is just ridiculous, I cannot read that. So I thought I would have a cap this year of 60. And so far I've bought 37, so I think I'm doing really well on that goal. That does give me a few that I can buy at Christmas and any that I need for book clubs or anything. So yeah, I think I've done really well on this goal. And then the final 
final groups of books are from another video. So this wasn't in my reading goals video. This was a video that I think came out at the beginning of March and that was my five star predictions. So these are books that I think I'm absolutely going to love. That I'm going to give five stars and I did kind of want to read them this year but you know, it hasn't gone that well. I haven't read that many. If I don't read all of these this year, it's okay because I could leave it till March next year, if that makes sense, leave it a whole year and then do my five star predictions in March. Like, have I given them five stars or something? Out of the 13 books on that list, I have read five, or technically I've read four. I'm in the middle of middle game right now. So the five that I've read are Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater, Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman, and then like I said, I'm currently reading Middle Game by Shauna Maguire. So I have read a few, but then there are still eight books on that list that I haven't got to, and they are Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, Magic Study by Maria V. Schneider, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, and then The Beast Player by by Nahoko Yuihashi. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. But yeah, so those are the books that I still want to read that I think I'm going to give five stars. I know right away that I haven't given them all five stars. So hopefully I'll give them five stars, but I'm very picky with the five stars that I give out. So we'll see what happens. And like I said, I don't need to read these by the end of the year. It'd be nice if I could get through quite a few of them. But yeah, I've still got like January, February, and March next year that I could read them. Then there are a couple of books on the end that I just wanted to mention that I would also love to read by the end of the year. The first one is A Dream So Dark by L.L. L. McKinney. This is the second book in the A Blade So Black series. Is it the night? Nightmareverse series. I can't remember the series title, but that is the second book in the Alice in Wonderland kind of retelling that I absolutely loved. I read that in August. Then I also want to continue in two series that I started by N.K. Jemisin. So I want to continue the Broken Earth series with the Obelisk Gate, and then I want to continue the Inheritance Trilogy 2 with the Broken Kingdoms. I love that Broken Earth, Broken Kingdoms. So yeah, two N.K. Jemisin books. Hopefully I can get to them. I've loved both of the first books in these series. So I'm very excited to continue in them. Then I would really like to read Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the second book in the Aurora Rising series. And then finally, I want to get to The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is just, it's just watching me. Like, it's a beady eye. I bought this, I pre-ordered this book and I don't pre-order books. I know that it supports authors and when I do have more money, that is something that I wanna do more. But I pre-ordered this book. I got the exclusive Waterstones edition. It's yellow and I haven't read it. How many months has it been? Was this May and now we're in August, almost September? I've gotta read this. I've gotta read this by the end of the year. I know it's had some mixed reviews, but I wanna experience it myself. Yeah. So those, were my goals. Do you think I've done well? I feel like I'm on the way to completing some of them and then some of them, like the Good Reach Choice Awards, it's never gonna happen, is it? What were your 2020 reading goals? Are you achieving them? I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching and to everyone out there, stay curious. Bye! <laughs>